Okay, so by default, when you add images to your patch, Max is going to create this object called fpick, which just allows you to display and resize and move around these images. So I've got these four images, which more or less correspond to the four seasons, although not here in Arizona. Okay, so we've got uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall. So FPIC is really great. It's really fast if you would like to just have an extra image in your, in your patch or in your project that you're working on, and you don't need to do any kind of editing to it. So right now, FPIC is doing only displaying and resizing. There are much better ways of doing images in, in Jitter and then you can do a whole ton of really precise image and video editing. There is one thing that you can do with an FPIC, and that is to make it invisible or visible with a command called alpha. So if I send a message alpha zero to an FPIC, it sets its alpha channel to zero, which makes it disappear. Voila, magical. If I send a message alpha one, or that's full alpha, or all, you can think of it as on, then it reappears. Off, on, off, on. <coughs> and if I send a message somewhere in the middle, let's say half, then I can make it partially opaque. So now I can kind of see through this image. So what that also means is that I can change the alpha channel from zero to one, from invisible to visible in sort of a fade. If I'm able to walk through values, floating point values between zero and one, I can go from invisible to visible in, in a line. So I'm going to use a replaceable argument for this. Dollar sign one and a floating point number box. I just use the key command F to make that floating point number box. And as I drag this up, I can slowly make this image appear. And disappear. I had to do all the dragging with my mouse. I had to do that manually. What if there was a way that we could generate that line of numbers from zero to one, or maybe from one to zero, without me having to drag it? There is. This object is called line. Line, generate a timed ramp. So the line object, let's open up the help file just to take a quick look. It spits out numbers from a starting point to an end point over a specified time value, or um, they call this a ramp of values. So if I click on this message here, it's going to go from 50 to 150, and it's going to take 1,000 milliseconds to do that. I'm sending this message into line, and here's my output. Watch it count up from 50, gets to 150. I can um, do the same thing for 0 to 1 with my own message here. The only difference is that if, like many other objects in Max, if you want floating point output, you have to ask for it. So I have to put in a 0 with a point after it for my argument to say, hey, line, please output in floating point. Now if I take a message and I say, I would like you to start at zero, comma, I would like you to end at one, space, and I would like for you to take a thousand milliseconds to do this. And then I take the output, my ramp output, and put it into my alpha channel. Should be able to fade this image in over a second. Whoa. 
fancy. If I want to fade it out, easy. I can use the same line object and just reverse my beginning and end input. So I would like for line to start at one, comma, end at zero, space, and this time let's take 5,000 milliseconds to get there. The values here in order are beginning value, right? So what, what value do you want it to start at? And by the way, it will jump to this value if it is not currently there. So if I click this again, it jumps to one. And then a comma followed by the ending value that you would like. And then a space followed by the time of the ramp in milliseconds. 